The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is a self-help book written by Stephen Covey. The book is divided into seven chapters, each of which focuses on a different habit that the author believes is essential for individuals to become more effective in their personal and professional lives. Here is a summary of each chapter and the main idea and lesson of each habit. Chapter 1, The Seven Habits, An Overview In this chapter, Covey introduces the concept of the seven habits and explains why he believes they are important for personal and professional effectiveness. He also discusses the idea of paradigms, or the way in which individuals perceive and interpret the world around them. Chapter 2, Habit 1, Be Proactive The first habit is about taking initiative and being responsible for one's own actions. Covey argues that individuals should be proactive and take initiative, rather than reacting to the events and circumstances around them. The main idea of this habit is that individuals should take control of their own lives and not be controlled by external factors. Chapter 3, Habit 2, Begin with the End in Mind The second habit is about having a clear vision of what one wants to achieve and taking steps to achieve that vision. Covey argues that individuals should have a clear vision of their goals and work towards achieving them, rather than simply going through the motions of life. The main idea of this habit is that individuals should have a clear vision of what they want to achieve in life and take steps to make that vision a reality. Chapter 4, Habit 3, Put First Things First The third habit is about prioritizing important tasks and responsibilities, and focusing on them first. Covey argues that individuals should focus on the most important tasks and responsibilities, rather than getting bogged down by less important ones. The main idea of this habit is that individuals should prioritize their time and energy on the things that are truly important. Chapter 5, Habit 4, Think Win-Win The fourth habit is about developing win-win solutions, rather than trying to win at all costs. Covey argues that individuals should strive for mutually beneficial solutions, rather than trying to dominate or control others. The main idea of this habit is that individuals should strive for solutions that benefit everyone involved. Chapter 6, Habit 5, Seek First to Understand, Then to Be Understood The fifth habit is about actively listening to others and understanding their point of view, rather than immediately trying to express one's own point of view. Covey argues that individuals should seek to understand others before trying to be understood themselves. The main idea of this habit is that individuals should actively listen to and understand others in order to communicate effectively. Chapter 7, Habit 6, Synergize The sixth habit is about working effectively in teams, rather than trying to do everything alone. Covey argues that individuals should work together to achieve a common goal, rather than trying to achieve that goal alone. The main idea of this habit is that individuals should work effectively in teams in order to achieve more than they could alone. Chapter 8, Habit 7, Sharpen the Saw The seventh habit is about taking time to renew and improve oneself. Covey argues that individuals should take time to renew their physical, spiritual, mental, and emotional well-being, in order to maintain a high level of effectiveness. The main idea of this habit is that individuals should take time to renew and improve themselves in order to maintain their effectiveness over the long term. The book overall wants to convey the idea that effectiveness can be learned and embodied in principles of personal and interpersonal effectiveness which can be applied in the four areas of life, private, family, business and social community. The author provides a holistic and principle.